Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to try my hand at cob bread. As you can see, moving the, I'm, I'm having to move the camera. I have got all my ingredients. The green one is the flour, the cup of water, the bowl with flour in, and a egg, and that is yeast, that is sugar, which I have to keep apart, or the bread will not rise. Right, so now I am going to add... It's not the sugar you have to keep away. I'm going to add the salt on this side and I'm going to add the yeast and a bit of sugar on this side. I don't think it matters if the sugar goes in with the yeast as long as it doesn't go in with the salt. As long as the salt goes in on its own. So that's empty now. So I'm going to mix. Now it does say while you're mixing it to add shut up, to add a egg. Well I've never ever added the egg before. So first time for everything you can see that is a egg, isn't it? Yes, you can see that. Now as you know I am not very good at cracking eggs. There we are. That's the yolk and the egg. Well, full egg actually, really. And I'm going to mix it round. If you want to know what the ingredients were, no, I've lost my paper so I can't tell you. But I think it was just flour. Well, flour, yeast, sugar, egg, or whatever I call it, egg, and flour. Flour, did I say flour? Well, I'm saying flour again. Then it just says to mix it with uh, with little bits of water. Well, it says a cup of water, but on watching um, Paul Hollywood's uh, making bread, he had a lot more water than I had in a cup. But he says you don't need to use it all, but if needs be, carry on. So now, I let the spoon go. Bye bye spoon. And then he said, Paul said to use your hands to get it all together. I keep adding the water bit by bit. Oh, that feels awful. And he just said, well, he just said to keep doing that. So all I'm going to do is just keep adding water until it's all come together. Now he said slightly oil your surface which I have done is make sure the bowl's clean well it's it's clean for what the dough is anyway and apparently you don't need any flour I can't see that right I'm going to get some flour and I'm just going to keep mixing it like he said he said so fold the quarter, a quarter of it into the middle turn it another quarter into the middle and keep turning it and he says do this for about four to five minutes okay fair enough i will keep folding it and stretching it and keep folding it into the middle like he said he says you won't need any flour so I guess I've gone against his grain and added some. So quarter into the middle, 
turn, quarter into the middle, turn, quarter into the middle and turn. And that is what he said to keep doing all the time. Right. So, well, he said to keep doing it. So I'm going to do it one more time. <coughs> Flatten you out. Go do it one more time into the middle. Then into the middle. And the last one into the middle. So, yes, I am doing exactly as the video said. So, now I am going to put that batter in it aren't I? put that back in the dish like it said put can you see it am i are you actually watching what i'm doing um put it back in the bowl with some mark can you see it yeah and i'm going to cover it with a tea towel like paul said and then, well, I'm going to leave it to rise a bit. Hopefully it will. Right, as you can see, I have put some, well, I've oiled my tin. Now I am going to put, because he said don't let it touch the sides. He says make sure it doesn't touch the sides so that when it expands in the oven It is oven, I haven't got another word for that have I? So when it expands in the oven It can, it can expand to the side Size, side, uh, sides <laughs> These, you know sides So it can expand to them So Oh, that's it I'm gonna make that bread I'm gonna put that in the oven now I'm gonna check for 20 minutes after check uh, check after 20 minutes and well we'll see what happens if it's not done in 20 minutes it gets put in longer and longer and longer until it's cooked which I will then show you the end product of it and that is the end product of a cob loaf a uh, cob bread um, Yes, it, I know it. It looks. It doesn't look brown on the on the on the camera, but believe me, and it is. It's really brown. It's really nice, and it, it looks nice anyway. Now, as you can see, I've cut a little bit off. I'm gonna. Yes, the middle is nice and moist. So well, all it is is now. I'll keep the camera on. Uh, typical. So all it is now is. Well, it's done. Now it's going to be the taste test. I don't normally eat dry bread. I normally have something on it. So this is the first time. <laughs> it's dry bread. It tastes really nice, I like it. I'm gonna have some more when you're not watching. Right, so there's gonna be a link in the description to my merchandise. I forgot. Oh, if you like what you see, please give you a me. If you wanna give me a thumbs up, please do. If you want so leave a comment please feel free the more the merrier and if you haven't subscribed or you know someone who hasn't subscribed get subscribing get them subscribed get everybody subscribing thank you bye